Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And yeah, my second video is today. I thought I'd react to the Fulham Liverpool game. I was in the live stream before, which is why I didn't do it an initial reaction straight away. But yeah, we react to that match because that is huge today for Fulham and Newcastle and the relegation battle. And uh, I'll be honest, guys, I'm fucking shit myself. Uh, but of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you can get down there, subscribe, smash that like button, enjoy. Appreciate all support as always. See the TV's on by. I literally got five minutes of war zones downloaded. Good to go on there, the lads get some wins, but. Yeah, pretty much I thought in the five minutes, you know, I might as well get a video out in the meantime. But, yeah, um, again, Newcastle performance. I've already got a video about the reaction, but shit today. Um, an absolute joke. Steve Bruce is happy at that point. You fucking joke me. He's happy he's got a point at West Brom. Fulham had just went to Anfield and beat them. Beat them on their own turf. That is six losses in a row for Liverpool at Anfield now. That's their worst home record in club history. Of course, there's no fans there for the first time ever, but still up, not good enough, especially from the Premier League winners. Um, I'm not going to blame this on Liverpool because in Newcastle, we need to get our points. We can't just blame Liverpool for someone else winning. We didn't get our points against opposition and we uh, take responsibility for that. But yeah, great result for Fulham. Deserved the win, in my opinion. I played really well, set up really well. Scott Park, I, I, I slagged this guy from the start of the season. Right? I was saying, yes, you know, they hadn't have a budget. You know, they're always going to go down, but I was saying, Scott Park... Um, He's just not not good enough. I think he's more of a championship manager, I said. And uh, yeah, I'll be honest, disagree with that now. Um, yes, I didn't have much money to spend for them, but they might stay up. They, they've got a decent chance of doing it. Um, they've got the confidence, they get the ability. You would think they're going to get the next few points, but uh, you never know with football. It's always a mad one, but yeah, still up. Um, positive about Newcastle days, even though we obviously shit performed, we didn't lose, so we're still above Fulham in the relegation zone. We just gotta keep being positive. We gotta keep having the faith. Yes, uh, it's gonna be very tough, and I'm shit myself. But you still gotta believe that we can stay up because otherwise, we don't have the belief. How are the players gonna believe? It's simple as that, really. But yeah, Steve Bruce, honestly, it's the blind leaving the blinds. It's honestly, it's as simple as that. Uh, but it is very stressful. It is tough. It's gonna be hard. It's not gonna be uh, a good time. But I'm gonna dig in deep. Find our spirit because even though we've got our best attacking players injured, I still think Newcastle have a better squad than Fulham. I just think Fulham have better, better, got a better manager. The, uh, the, the, obviously, the squad is developed way better. They've got this good setup. They've got you know, the best players. They know what they're doing, essentially. And uh, yeah, it's going to go down to the wire. Um, if fans are allowed to go to Craven Cottage, I will be there. Um, so yeah, we'll see how things go. But man, it's going to be very hard. Um, I've just got to hope that. I, it's going to be very hard against Villa, uh, but Villa have not been particularly good last few games, so I've got a really good goalkeeper well, apart from that. Be quite disappointing last few weeks, uh, so we need to take advantage of that. Someone has to step up. I don't know who. I don't know who. Uh, hopefully, Gail, Joe Linton. I don't know who. Someone has got to step up and start scoring goals because we cannot last with this team. We cannot survive with this team. We will die with this team. It's as simple as that. And uh, yes, someone has got to pull the finger out. Because otherwise, we are fucked. Because Steve Bruce will not keep us up. It's the players that have to do the job now. And, uh, yeah, the confidence Fulham have now. I think they got about 10 points last 18 or something. Like, it's pretty good. Uh, you would think they're going to beat someone else. You would think they're going to beat the teams around us. You would think they're going to take, take us on the bottom three. But let's face it, right? We're not going to have Wilson back for an all month. So what we need to do right now is we need to believe in the players we have. Uh, we need to get our shit together. We need to fucking get our fingers out. Steve Bruce, you need to have training sessions every single day. Monday and Tuesday off last week. You can't do that to a team around the relegation zone. It is crazy. Uh, these players are on five digits a week. And, uh, yeah. We need, to get, we need to get some sorted. That's why I'm going to leave it, guys. Yes, I'm worried. Uh, I've said all season long, I think the castle are too good to go down. We've got a very high chance going down now. Uh, it's completely flipped. I've completely done a U-turn. But uh, honestly, I can't believe this team's in the relegation zone. It's unbelievable. Um, if we go down, do I think we're going to come back up with Steve Bruce? No. Um, the thing is, I don't think we'll sack him either. I think this club are too stubborn. I don't think we're going to sack him any day of the week. So, I've got to see how things go. But, man, worrying times really is concerning. But congrats to Fulham winning the day. I've got nothing against Fulham fans, of course, watching this. Uh, I'm not... Obviously, I'm not salty or anything like that. We've done your job, fair enough. We didn't do our job. It's as simple as that. But, uh, yeah, it will go down to the wire. That's what I always say. But uh, which other team does it? Fair enough. But fingers crossed, of course, it's us. But see how things go. Though. Brighton, Burnley, of course, there are two, uh, still two teams that could go down. But I believe it's between Newcastle and Fulham. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to end it, guys. 
Thank you for all for watching. Rosen's downloading that and go play that. But take care, guys. I'll see you on the next one.